Hey guys, quick video on uh, this is my new greenhouse I'm building. Um, this is not a greenhouse video, but it's a hydroponics, a Dr. Kratky hydroponics video where I'm doing a system. He's done this too. I've just upgraded and made this, um, well, I shouldn't say upgraded. <laughs> He's way better than me, but I'm just trying to do his version of his little yogurt can float tube. So I'm gonna use a float valve to actually keep the two growing tanks that I'm using uh, at a certain level once the plants drain the solution down to a certain level. So I hadn't planted this system yet. I wanted to show you guys what it's gonna look like when it's actually fully functional. Now that's what it'll look like. Obviously it would have plants in it. The plants would have drained the actual growing tank solution down to about here based on my predetermined water level test. When that happens, they have the air pocket created and I can then see how that float valve is lifted high right now so it doesn't affect the plants. I can drop it down to where it's supposed to be and through the use of a float valve in this bucket, my nutrient solution will be in that garbage can feeding down into this feeding through the float valve and then it will using quarter inch poly tube, it will actually keep the water level continuously right here once these plants have initially drained the fluid. Now, how will I know that? Here's the float valve set up. So this tank, because these plants have been planted, I have to keep this high because water self levels. If I drop it now, it'll flood this tank. I've just screwed a, basically a little giant. I actually got this at Tractor Supply. It's, it's um, I'm not being paid to advertise for them. It's just a version of a little giant float valve. Basically, when the water fills up that tank, that valve raises up and stops the water flow. So I would then, when these plants drop the solution to about right here, through my predetermined test, really it's more about right here. I'll go ahead and take the bucket out. I'll drop it, hook my system up. That will be full of my Master Blend formula is pretty much the 12-12-6 formula. Um, I converted it to teaspoons because it's easier for me to do. Um, and then this little handy dandy um, deal here is kind of like Dr. Kratky, Kratky also. Um, I know when, instead of me having to pop the top on this planter every week to see how far my air pocket has developed, when this float, when that line gets down to here, I know that I'm ready to drop my uh, float valve tank back to the original spot, which would be pretty much here. And it'll start draining uh, the tank, the garbage can into the float valve, and it'll continuously maintain that level in these planters. So that's what I've done. Um, I'm sure there's other ways to do it. Uh, this is just what I'm gonna try. I'm also gonna put a shade cloth over this and over this. Um, when I get them, you know, when they're fully functional, just to try to keep the um, temp down in the stagnant water. Um, so, if anybody has any suggestions, I'm well open to them. This is just kind of my version this year. I don't necessarily like my, um, I got these tanks at a big box store. Um, I mean, getting them online was ridiculous price just to ship them, and I don't live anywhere close to some of those stores, but I bet these will hold up for two or three years, and I'll probably just have to buy some, but they're pretty cheap. So, anyway, this is going to be, that's my tomatoes. This will be peppers. This is what the system will look like when it's fully functional. Of course, it would have plants in it. And then this is what you have to do to start, because if you drop that float valve tank to those stones at the bottom of the blue bucket, um, it would you know, cause water self levels, it would flood your float tank right now because the water, I just planted these. So anyway, hope this helps somebody and uh, I'll give an update video in about four to six weeks and we'll see the progress. And by the way, I'm comparing them to my wicked, wicking uh, pot system. Um, I know some of you guys have done that too. So be interesting, I guess, to see the difference. So anyway, have any suggestions, let me know.